Welcome back to Alpha Mods, everybody. So after a couple of weeks of going through my wedding and everything going as smoothly as possible and having an amazing time, I think it's time we get back to Alpha Romeo related things. And today we're going to be going over something really important, which is what to look out for when you're buying a used Alfa Romeo Giulia or Stelvio 2 liter. So we're going to go under the hood and we're going to talk about a couple of different topics related to this. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so the first thing that I wish that I there was a video or something when I was buying this car is going to be the radiator. And the reason why this is so important is because on the 2017, 2018, um, they basically had some problems with leaky radiators. What you want to do is you're going to start from the top. You want to get a flashlight, start looking through the bottom and the sides. Go all the way across the top. Look out on the other side. And what you're going to be looking for is, if you look at the color of this coolant that's in um, OEM alphas, you're going to be looking for a type of like pinkish residue. Now, if you see that anywhere, chances are you have a leaking radiator. And this is something that you want to address before you buy the car. So another good indicator is you're going to want to look at your high temperature reservoir. So this is basically, this is the coolant for the radiator and all of that system. This is the coolant for the turbo and that system, the low temp. So you're going to want to make sure that this is not going down because if this is going down and, you know, let's just say you're at a dealership and you look at it, and for some reason this is below the minimum, you might want to question the radiator and start looking to see if you see any of that pink residue because if you don't catch it on and you don't have warranty, it might come back to, you know, bite you in the butt. Also, just a note to add there, you see this little, that that is known to come undone, the wires behind it. So also make sure that that's intact when you're looking at buying a used one. Also, here are just general photos of the leaky radiator residue. So the second thing to look out for on these cars, because this is another super common issue, is on the turbo. You have a coolant and an oil uh, line that feeds into the turbocharger. So, basically, right around this area here, my turbo is still super hot, right around here, if you see some pinkish residue, again, coolant, or you see some oil, the O-rings, or it's a super common thing in these cars, is probably leaking. And you definitely want to get that fixed before you purchase it, because again, if you're outside of warranty, this is going to be quite an expensive repair. Now, if you're within a warranty, go ahead and get it repaired. Let them know, hey, say, because say, uh, this is basically what happened to me. I went to the dealership and I said, hey, I've got a little bit of residue on here. Can you check it out? Of course, they did the diagnosis and they said, okay, well, the O-rings are leaking. So they replaced both of them. Haven't had a problem since. And everything looks to be in order and good. Again, you're going to look in the back in here in between these two lines. So that's what you're going to want to check. And some of the indicators could be some smoke or you can visually see the oil or coolant. So here's some visual. Alrighty, so the third thing you want to look at when you're buying one of these used alphas is you want to make sure that the uh, the battery terminals are not all corroded. And by that, you can pull this little cover up right here. This is the IBS sensor. And this basically is a fancy way of saying that it calculates how much life is left in the battery. Now, alphas are very, very well known to if the battery gets below 70%, it basically starts throwing all sorts of random codes and people think that the car is going to burn down and no, that's not the case. Chances are it's just an old battery. So if you're buying like a 2018, 2017, you want to ask them, hey, you know, has the battery been replaced anytime soon or anytime in the last uh, year or two? Because you don't want to have the original battery at this point in time and we're in 2023 and more than likely on a car that's so sensitive with electronics like this alpha again completely reliable but just sensitive with electronics you want to make sure that that battery gets replaced that's very important okay so now we're going to basically talk about your basic wear and tear type items um, this is maintenance you want to make sure that your car is up to date 
um, asked them when's the last time they did the spark lugs because those are due at the 36k mile mark. Um, when's the last time that they did the serpentine belt? Um, you can physically look at it yourself and you know check if it's degrading or not. I mean, they say to replace them at 36,000 miles, but I believe they could probably go a little bit longer. They updated it in 2019 saying that they could go way longer, but for some reason in the 2018 and 17, Alpha says if you want their warranty, you better get this thing replaced on their schedule. Um, I replaced my spark plugs at 36k miles, and the things were super dirty. So, they weren't bad. There wasn't anything major that would signify, oh, well, it's got a problem, but it's something that you want to make sure that it's either done or you're going to do yourself. Uh, the next thing is go ahead and check your brake pads. Get in there, see how much life is in them, check your rotors. You know, see if there's any major, you know, depth scratching going on. And same thing with the rear. They're not hard to replace, but you get a really, really clean view of where things are. So, like my front, I probably want to do my pads soon because it looks like they're getting getting there. But these are just little items that you want to check while you have a chance before you buy the car. This is a huge one, okay? A lot of people, this went unnoticed for me, and I normally check my stuff out. But I thought, okay, bumper looks great, everything looks all right. And then one day out of nowhere, I'm like, what happened here? And then I went to the other side and noticed it's the same thing. Well, what happened was this person, the previous owner, got the bumper yanked off somehow. And instead of replacing the bumper and putting it on properly, they decided to use some epoxy and just glue it back on so it looked good enough to sell. Now, I hate that practice, but it's going to happen. And it's something to be aware of and something to check for, because now if I want to redo my front bumper, I have to buy another one, paint it, and then reinstall, which is not too big of a deal. But for somebody who doesn't know how to do these things, it's going to be a big deal. I mean, this will be an over $1,000 replacement. Even with me doing all the labor myself, I'm still going to be close to $1,000. So, cosmetically, see what's going on with your car before you buy it, just to make sure that they're not trying to pull something on you, like I ended up having with this. Check your turn signals, check your headlights, because these things are super expensive if they decide to go out on you. So, just check every, like, component, electrical, radio, all those things, make sure everything works before you end up purchasing it. Okay, so while we're talking about maintenance, one thing that I forgot to mention earlier is you want to check on your car, and you're going to see the car statuses. I'm going to click on that, and this is where you're going to see tire pressure, oil level, things of that nature, but more importantly, maintenance. So you want to look at how many days are left until the next scheduled maintenance and how many miles are left. So this is just something that will give you a general idea of like how soon you're going to have to do something with the car. And everything's set in intervals. So there are one year intervals. So this is a good reference point as to when you're going to need, whether it be an oil change or the next uh, major type of maintenance thing. Um, which a major type of maintenance is not really what it sounds like because it's like serpentine, it's a serpentine belt, um, spark plugs, oil change, air filter, cabin air filter, things of that nature. Um, but that's basically how you get to this menu and I think it's important to at least look it over before you buy it. And of course go drive it, you know, go see what it sounds like, how it feels to you. That's going to be something super important as well, so keep that in mind when you're buying it. Throw it in dynamic, throw it in uh, natural, and throw it in efficient, just to see if it has any quirks or anything like that. But more importantly, just go drive it. Go get the corners. Go get a feel for it. And either way, having an Alpha is amazing, so just throwing these things out there so that Anybody who's looking to buy for the first time kind of understands what they're getting into before, you know, they finalize their purchase.
I wish it wasn't so bright today, but basically the last thing I want to talk to you about is the extended warranty. And let me tell you how I got myself wrapped into this. Um, I bought it from a third party dealership, which is BMW of Austin. They were basically selling it. And I thought, okay, well, the warranty sounds good. You know, the Alpha probably needs it. It's something that I should really look into. And I decided to sign up for it. Well, the first day that I decided to take it in to get something looked at, they basically told me, yeah, you know, we don't work on Alphas here. You know, you're going to have to take it to the Alpha dealership and use our warranty. I was like, okay. So I went to the Alpha dealership. I said, hey, I have this warranty with um, BMW that, where I purchased it. And Alpha looked at me like, yeah, we're not accepting that. So the lesson learned here, I got my refund, but the lesson learned here is do not, under any circumstances, buy a warranty that is from a third party that is not Mopar Max Care or Alpha Care. Only buy those products because if not, chances are the dealership is not going to honor it. And I don't, I mean, in some situations, maybe, but I don't think that that's going to be the case. So Mopar Max Care is basically um, Dodge or FCA's version of an inclusive um, third party warranty. And it, it basically covers anything that goes wrong with the Alpha, um, electrical, mechanical, anything that's not a wear and tear item, I mean, you're basically going to be covered. So it's something that you really want to look into and everybody's going to have different prices. So of course you're going to go to one dealer and they're going to tell you one number and somebody else is going to tell you another number. But what's important is that there is people out there that can sell these uh, warranties and that are not going to basically price gouge you. One of those people, his name is Tom Winkles. He sold me my uh, warranty, as well as tons and tons of other people who um, use the Alpha forums on Facebook and on the uh, Alpha Romero Julia forums. So Tom Winkles, and I'll put his information in this video because he sold me my warranty for an amazing price, probably like half of what Alpha of Austin wanted. So I really, really recommend going through him and of course, once I got the paperwork and got everything signed over, I immediately went to go check if it was in effect and I called the dealership and yes, they were able to verify the warranty is legit. And basically, I've got everything covered. Um, if something goes wrong, well, I'll go take it to the dealership if I can't fix it myself. But with long wait times and kind of how the dealer network is, it's not really the best, let's be honest here. Uh, that's one of the downsides of the Alfa Romeo, but it's easier to try to fix things um, yourself if you can. Otherwise, you're going to be in a long wait. But if you're not mechanically inclined and you have the warranty, then just go take it to the dealer if there's a problem. And let's, you know, let them sort it and get your money's worth. Because most of the time, one item is going to get your money's worth. If you paid $1,500 for three years, for example and your radiator went out, well, that just paid for it. Or if your turbo went out, well, that just paid for it as well. So that's one of the things that happens. I had somebody message me on the, the forums and my contact is gonna be on my Instagram, which is alphamods512. I'll be putting it down below. A lot of people like to send me questions and I like to respond and go through that. Um, <clears throat> but somebody sent me a, a message basically letting me know code and I told them, well, yeah, that's the oil pump. So that was a 4K repair out of warranty. If you had Max Care or Alpha Care, it would have been taken care of. So please be considerate of that. And I think it's very vital, uh, especially for people that are not mechanically inclined, to get that warranty. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. And I hope I went over some of the things to look for. And if I think of anything else, I'll throw it in the mix. But I appreciate your support. And we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. So I am so, so happy about that. And thank you all so much for the, all the congratulations on my wedding and everything else. I appreciate that so much um, from everybody that supports me on this channel. Anyways, have a great day. Alpha Maz out.